Time for another vlog, I suppose. I have a girl in my intermediate class who's been working on her layback, or cross ankle release. Girl one. One day, another girl came to the class who doesn't normally take that class, and she got her layback on the very first try. Girl two. So girl one says to me, I'm really frustrated. Girl two came in, got it on her first try, and it's a move that I've been working on for like several weeks or a month, and it just isn't happening for me. In my experience, yes, granted, there are some people that are just ripe with natural ability. The problem with that, and I'm speaking from personal experience, I don't want this to come across like I'm bragging, because I'm really not, I'm using it to prove a point. I've got what a lot of people would call a butt ton of natural ability. That's a technical term. No matter who you are, eventually that natural ability runs out. Those are the people who learn very quickly in the beginning, but once you hit the limit of your natural ability, that's where the vast majority of people will call it quits. It's very frustrating as someone with that natural ability to reach that point because you realize this thing that has always come naturally and always just been easy is now work. Sometimes having that natural talent, that ability, that proficience can actually be more of a crutch than anything. You come to depend too much on natural ability and not enough on the effort that you're putting into something. That point where the natural ability runs out and the hard work has to start, that's going to be the make or break point. For those of you who don't have natural ability, those are the people that are used to working very, very hard from day one. They might not learn as quickly, but they will learn more diligently, they'll put in more effort than a person who has that natural ability. Because they're already in the habit of working hard, generally they will go farther. I just hate seeing my students um, or people that I know get discouraged because they feel like the people around them are progressing more quickly or the people around them have more natural talent than they do. Yeah. Natural ability, mm, yeah. not always the best thing. Try as much as you can, and I know it's hard not to compare yourself to other people. It's not about Susie Spinney over there doing her thing. No, your own training is always about you. Don't quit when you hit a plateau. You know who you are. No matter what, if you're naturally gifted, if you're not, if you work hard, it will pay off. Work, 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 work. If you don't want to work hard for something, then you can't expect to ever go far with it. That might be all. <laughs>